Good morning everybody, my name is Mel Spikes and welcome or welcome back to my channel and another adventure fishing. We have an absolutely magnificent steamy morning here. George's River is to the left of me, Botany Bay is ahead of me and this is St George Sutherland Shire Anglers Club in Tarrant Point. So it's 7 a.m. It is a very steamy, still morning. I don't know if rain is going to happen, but it's okay because it's 25 degrees right now. The swell offshore is 1.1 meters. The wind is, I reckon, about five knots right now. It is going to pick up at some point during the day. So what I'm gonna do is punch straight offshore maybe go to Kernel or maybe head north and fish off the eastern suburbs so Maroubra, Kuji, Bondi area. It looks like it's going to be a bit of a touch and go session. I'm not sure what the current is like offshore. I'm not sure about anything offshore. It's been about five, six weeks since I've even been to the heads. So yeah, let's um, see if we can catch some offshore species. Sit back, relax and enjoy the ride with me. We're going fishing. Punching my way offshore, and there's 13 boats right up against the oil block there. Extremely illegal, guys. You must be 100 meters away, and there's only two and a half boats that are legally away from that oil block. I don't know what is going on there, but it's not worth the fine. It's probably little rat kings. Nine boats are way too close to that. They're practically on it. You must be 100 meters away from that or you will risk a fairly good fine. No fish is worth that five, $600 fine, I'm sorry. And you know what? All the amateur people who don't know the rules are gonna follow this crowd and that's not fair either. It's really rock and roll out here guys and the current is absolutely raging but I'm going to give it a shot. First thing I've got to do is open my new baby. Remember when I broke my snapper rod by closing my hatch on top of the tip? The new one came. I don't know if you can see that there. Blade and tails, 5 to 10 kilo live fiber rod so i'm gonna quickly do a changeover the broken rod is still here i've got to take it apart put the reel on this new one oh yeah 
this. Oh, yes. Look at that. Beautiful live fiber, laden tails, 10 to 20 kilo. Woo, 10 to 20 pound. Almost broke that one. Okay, I don't even know if this is going to be worth it, but I have to give it a shot. I'm going to use a fresh butterfly human grade sardine. That's my bait for today. It's my bait every day. And the Cyclops rig. I'm not going to muck around. We're going straight to the 80 grammer because the current is so heavy. That is the Cyclops rig right there. That is a fixed weight eye head with LCAT striker gangs attached to it. You just tie that straight on to your main line. That's a butterfly pilly. Middle hook through the body. Top hook through the eyes. Bottom hook through one of the fillets. That is how your bait is presented for snapper. actually going down not bad That was a hit. That was a hit. All I got back was the head. Something hit that. I'm gonna put a whole pilly knot butterfly on. as it drops to the bottom try and have a shot at something while it's vertical Definitely not the target species, 
but putting it re putting it in reverse got me a scorpion fish. That's the cyclops. good guys I'm gonna head back into a safer calmer area the current is too hard it's too choppy it's just crap I've come into Kernel gonna um, see if there's some speed around and stop feeling seasick Current is running this way, so I'm casting ahead of the boat. It's going to come beside me. Should hit the bottom around here. Had my chippies ready to rumble now. by one freaking tenty one little tiny freaking tenty big follower behind it big follower behind it there's the tenty down about two meters I've closed the bay alarm and I'm just gonna let it sink a little twitch it might come back I don't think it's gonna come back but it might
I'll just leave that there. Anyway, you're gonna do it. You got nothing in you. How's that? Second calf special. Calamari in Kernel. Happy days, that's going in the tank. Oh yeah, eat in there mate. Eat in there. lost the rod there there we go NS Blackwater 2 rod <laughs> I'm glad that was just clear water and that is a beautiful calamari on the Yamashita that is a Yamashita rattle jig I'll put it in the tank with the ducks. Okay. That is the jig I'm using. I really like it because of how it looks from either side. It's like a prawn skeleton design shape. This is the NS Blackwater 2 Eggy Rod. It is made for squidding. What I'm doing is I'm just casting beyond the boat, which is that way. And when it hits the ground, it's only four meters deep here. When it hits the ground, I'm just giving it little jerks. So it's like a prawn jumping. And then I'll let it go back down to the bottom and then whip it again. And you can do it fast. Oh, I can't show you because there's another squid on. Wow. Where are you, mate? Micro squid, which by one centi or oh, two centis. 
How's that? <laughs> yeah. 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 Put it in the tank. Look at the hook up. techniques that I use. Mostly you watch the line. I'll wait for this plane. Just make sure you clean your gunk off your squid jig. It will affect your um, squidding dramatically. You will deter the squid. So, I've cast out. There's no aeroplanes coming. I'm going to watch the line in the water make a V. Once that V stops, I know that I've hit the bottom. Which is there. And then I'm just gonna click it, retrieve the line, wait for it to hit the bottom by watching that V in the water when the V stops. There. Oh, that's another squeak. That's that's probably the most effective way to explain what I'm doing. Using this NS Blackwater Eddy Rod makes it a hell of a lot easier. That's a fairly nice squid. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, using the eggy rod makes a huge difference. There is another nice green eye calamari, and that's a Yamashita Rattle eggy -O Squid Jig size 3 0. There it is. I'm not sure how you can see that, but there it is. Put it in the tank with the ducks. So I'm going to do that one more time. Cast it out. 
leaving the bail arm open. The line in the water is making a V as that lure descends to the floor. I'm just going to close the bail arm now. We're only in four meters. That V is still going. Stop there. The V was still going because the squid took it on the drop. This is insane. This is mental. It is a squid a cast here at Kernel. This is only a small one I think. Ooh. doesn't get any easier than that guys does not get any easier than that beautiful did its thing on me. Okay, that's disgusting. It's all over me. And this is gonna get ugly. Look at the color I'm wearing. You know you're in the target zone when you're getting weed. But that was a little bit too... I'll let it sit too long. That's what the screen looks like. That's weed. You can see how it's all fluffy bottom. That's weed. I'm nowhere near the squid grounds because it is all construction now. But I just want to check. We had that hot bite, squid after squid after squid, and that's where we are in the tide. So it's a run out tide a few hours away. Interesting. That's my buddy Rob. Just washed the boat for me because it was full of squid ink. He's going to go catch squid somewhere else. And he just got five crabs this morning. So he's, he's going to see how many he ends up with. Absolute gun fish and a great mate. It's nice of him to come visit me and say hi. That's it for me for squidding. This was a very unexpected and 
very welcomed squid session. I'm going to pack this guy up and I think we'll head over to Molly Point and see what Molly's doing. If anyone wants to see what I'm using, it is NS Blackwater 2 Eggy Rod. 832ML is the code for this rod and that is an ATC Virtuous 3000 carbon fiber reel. Six pound braid, 10 pound leader. That's all I use. Come to Cornell and catch some squid. Let's go. We're gonna go see what all the fuss is about at the um, oil wharf. And see every single freaking boat has moved 100 meters off because they've been in trouble by the port authority. We'll go see what's going on. It's worth a shot while we're in this side of the bay anyway. Check out all the boats are now complying with the rules. 100 meters guys, and I reckon that's maritime. There is a sneaky maritime jet ski there. Don't ruin it for the rest of us guys. Do the right thing 100 meters at all times. It doesn't look like anything is going on over there except for a whole bunch of people doing nothing. Not one reel was turned. Maritime's doing their thing. There's three on jet skis checking everyone out. So always be safe guys. Have the right equipment on your boat for inshore and offshore. And be safe. Wear your life jacket if you have to. We're going to Molly. Last time I fished here, there was Taylor and Salmon Frenzy. I haven't even changed the rig since I've last been out. Still got the yellow on it. See how it goes. It might move. It might move closer, but we'll just see. We'll do a tester. There's a freaking wasp beat. Okay, that's where I was. Yeah, you can see that's where I dropped my bait. I've come back up and I've moved onto the bommy and all the bait is holding on the bommy right there salmon tailor probably kings Is that a I don't know if you can see behind me a Spiro has just put his blue and white flag out with all us boats around him and he was not here when I came. So I wonder what the rules are now. We're all 50 metres from him or 100 metres from him. Are we in trouble? Or is he in trouble because he came and just did that around us? anyone know the rules about that I think I think that guy should not come near us if us boaters are here already if we weren't here he can set up his perimeter wherever wherever he wants right but there's boats all around him and he's just done that so I don't know what the rules are anyway I'm gonna go light I'm gonna go much lighter 
These are my options. 10 gram Lumo. Swivel. A bar crusher just drove past me and on the side of the boat it says bar up or barred up. Can't really see from this far. That is really clever. And naughty. Ran out of hooks last time, so these are the hooks in my little doggy bag. So a glow bead on my leader, 3 0 mustard octopus hook tie it with a uni knot that is the half pilly rig that's actually the OG half pilly rig Lumo color sinker I haven't used one of them in ages fresh half pilly through the spine through the body like that and then half hitch try that again from Roberto he caught a lot of crabs so he's given me some how good is that free trade agreement I give him free sinkers he gives me free crabs I sound so wrong <laughs> Our time together is limited today guys because the sun is overheating the crap out of my phone. I really need to wear my hat because the sun is just killing me. And I've got nothing that I can think of at this point in time to protect the phone. So keep going until it decides it's had enough. 
It's just no good, guys. It's just no good. It's just no good, guys. Nothing at Molly. Lots of boats. Blistering sun. I don't know what I'm going to do. The phone... The phone keeps overheating. It's hard for me to film. It's very hot. It's very busy and it's very quiet here at Molly Point. I'm going to go for a little cruise, see what's going on. And if something happens, I will come back to you guys. Sweetheart, you've been stealing my pillies. Yeah? Okay. Yoink. That's so cool, eh? There's nothing going on at La Perouse either. I'm going to put the phone away and if something interesting happens anywhere, I'll be back. I'm going to go for a drive. Contemplate life. Might end up in George's River, who knows, but I've got to think of something. I'm going to go for a drive though. Clear my mind a bit. Work out what we're going to do next. This is tough fishing. Guys, I came to the nudie beach to eat my lunch and I dropped a pilly down just like I did the other time I was here and no, oh it just broke the line, that's okay, no joke, that's a floody. That's a nudie beach floody. It'd be probably about 42, 43 centimetres. I can't believe it. I've only ever caught a whiting at this place. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna keep fishing and see what else is down here. That's incredible. That's a big one. I'll measure it. There you go, it's about 42 centimetres. <laughs> wow! Come on. It's a 
Come on, left hand. Go on. Where's David in that boat? I wonder if that was just a one hit wonder. I know I've only caught a whiting here before. I think I may I may have caught a couple of really small snapper on um, on vibes, little metal vibes. I've never really paid much atten attention to the fishing here, but now it's got my full attention. That's a different species one. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure in my last video I um I divulged that Kong Wong, the non-nudie beach, is really good for flathead off the beach with lures. I'm starting to think that this whole area is actually a good flatty spot. Keep in mind. I haven't moved. I'm in the same. Sp I'm in the same spot. So, I'm in the same spot I was when I stopped to have my lunch, and that big flatty came on. Number two was sitting right on top of number one because I haven't moved. Whoa. I don't know why I call them tiger flathead. It's got the stripy tail, bar flathead, leopard flathead. I don't know. I'm gonna leave the rod in the rod holder and I'll come back if something exciting happens. But it looks like that was it. A couple of fish and that's it. I just dropped another flathead here. I um, foolishly tried to lift it into the boat like I normally do and it broke. So there is a flatty in the 50 centimeter mark with a half pilly rig in its mouth. That little congy. I don't know if I've found a spot guys or whether it's just luck. might um, have to mark this spot spikes lunch stop and then every time I come for lunch actually have it right on top of this spot and see if it can produce fish again and again Lunchtime is over. Lunchtime is over. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I wanna keep fishing, I wanna use up all the bait I've got, so I'm gonna say tugs. We've got a southerly brewing, so tugs it's gonna be. We'll see what we can find there. I didn't get anything else there after I um, stopped filming, so that was three, three or four. Three or four flathead, I can't remember. But um, yeah, it went dead right after that. That's Bear Island, and there's the two beaches. I just got here. Hey? Oh yeah. 
Oh, where are the squid? Please send it, yeah. I'm alright. Thank you. Are you going home? Yeah, I've been down since the morning. Okay. I went out there too. Yeah, it was really bad. I'm going to keep persisting with the big baits because that's all I've got. Maybe something big will come around and be able to hook up on the 3 0. So cool. There's a couple of legends right there. They've watched every single video I've made. I'm so shy. I'm so damn shy, but that's awesome. It's awesome to meet people that actually watch my videos. You're all crazy. But I appreciate you, so thank you. That was a little flatty. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move back towards the green marker. I don't know what that was, but I dropped it and we are leaving.
That is what I got today. The crabs, they're still going strong. Flatty, bled, calamari, beautiful. I'd love to stay and chat with you all guys. Here's Daffo. But um, that storm is right there and I need to get out of here. Before I go guys, I just want to congratulate the winner of last video's winner. In that area right there will be the winner of the $150 gift voucher which is going to be for the fishing shed in Bathurst and a massive stack of Spikes UV Glow Lumo sinkers. There's the winner right there. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you for getting involved guys. I really do appreciate it. It means the most. This video's competition is going to be... Um, Type in the word nudie, N-O-O-D-I-E, to celebrate the success of the nudie beach flathead. Put your comments down there. Take care, stay safe, have fun. I will see you on the next one. Cheers.